this test is designed to test primary lung adenocarcinoma for uh, actionable mutations and gene fusions um, on a minimal amount of tissue, either biopsy tissue or cytology specimens. This test is specifically designed to be performed on either paraffin embedded biopsy material, uh, paraffin embedded resection material, or cytology specimens from a primary lung adenocarcinoma. Uh, it's not designed for uh, squamous cell carcinoma or uh, small cell carcinoma of the lung, large cell neuroendocrine carcinoma of the lung, other variants because of uh, the difference in mutation profiles. This is specifically designed to identify clinically significant mutations and fusions in adenocarcinoma primary to the lung. Uh, at this point, the uh, recommendation for standard of care is to test all patients with adenocarcinoma for EGFR mutations and ALK rearrangements. Uh, this test includes testing for those. It also expands that testing to include testing for other clinically significant mutations that are potentially actionable, uh, as well as other clinically significant fusions, which have shown to be uh, actionable as well. Based on this test, um, the clinicians will be able to identify potential targets for therapy. Uh, there are several potential target mutations uh, which could be identified with this test. Um, uh, at this point, there's drugs which are available clinically which will target tumors that carry these mutations specifically, and um, these patients will benefit from therapy um, if they have a tumor which is carrying one of these alterations, be it one of the mutations or one of the fusion uh, tested for in this assay. The nice thing about this new assay is that essentially we're looking for multiple mutations, multiple fusions on a uh, much smaller amount of tissue. In addition, we're testing for mutations which we didn't have tests for previously. So in addition to the EGFR mutation, uh, the ALK fusion, ROS fusion, RET fusion, as well as um, some of the RAS genes. We've now uh, added also the HER2 gene and um, the MET exon skipping mutation and uh, an NTRAC fusion that we're looking for. And so this is a much more comprehensive test on a smaller amount of tissue and therefore the potential for depleting the tissue is less. The assay is quite sensitive so um, we're able to do it on cytology specimens as well as tissue specimens.